What if I told you there was a weight loss medication that could help you lose 20% of your body weight? That's right. We're talking about ZetBound, the revolutionary weight loss medication changing lives. Stick around because the next few minutes, I'm going to share some interesting facts about ZetBound, some things your doctor probably hasn't told you. Plus, I'll share a simple trick that you can use to improve its effectiveness. Hi, I'm Dr. Carter with Modern Body Clinic, and we are weight loss experts. Uh, we help a ton of people lose weight. ZepBound is like a master key, unlocking not just one, but two secret door to your body's weight control system. ZepBound or Tizepatide is essentially a new class of medications done originally derived from GLP-1. This one has two receptors acts on. The other one is GIP. These are two naturally occurring hormones in your body. Terzepatide mimics those two hormones. One, uh, GLP-1, is going to decrease your appetite in the brain. It also, is going to slow down your GI tract so that, one, you get full fat for bed, and the other thing is that you're going to stay full for longer. Also, it's going to help with insulin. Your blood sugar will not go as high and will not stay elevated as long. For GIP, this is also going to help decrease your appetite by acting directly on your brain. It's also uh, going to help with nausea and helps with your body using fat as a source of energy. It helps with your metabolism as well. Ozempic, Wagobi, and ZepBound, they're like the Avengers weight loss medications. But which one is the real superhero? Well, for Ozempic and Wagobi, these are essentially medications that contain semaglutide. Semaglutide was originally derived for people who are diabetic and semaglutide acts on the GLP-1 receptor, but does those effects we just talked about. So Zepatide, or ZepBound, this medication is going to act on another receptor, so it potentially can increase the weight loss efficacy, or meaning it could work better because of the GIP. And in fact, that's what we see. If you look at this chart, it compares Ozempic, Wagobi, and ZepBound in regards to their effect on weight loss over time. For Ozempic, even though it's not really for weight loss, this is a pretty good result you're going to see, which is a little bit better than most weight loss medications. Now, we look at Wagobi, definitely much better, probably the best we've ever seen to that point and part of the reason it's so much better than Ozempic is because one the dosing a little bit different but also they actually were trying to get weight loss in those patients and they were on a weight loss program but Terzepatide is head and shoulders above both of them so clearly is more effective for weight loss compared to the other two. Imagine losing one-fifth of your body weight that's not a fairy tale it's a reality with that bound for some users. But let's talk about the numbers. One of the trials got uh, Trisepatide approved for weight loss. This trial was over 72 weeks, actually a pretty long time. And the average weight loss they did see was 20.9. Uh, and another interesting fact is that 85% of people had a meaningful weight loss with the medication, which they defined as 5%. Now, I will say that for someone to have just over 5% weight loss over 72 weeks is not impressive, but nonetheless, they did see that type of result. Now, there are other benefits besides just the weight loss with both of these medications. And part of that is the FDA has said that any medications that come out for diabetes, they need to show a cardiovascular benefit. Semaglutide had to do that to being even approved for diabetes as well as terzepatide that extends into weight loss. You're going to get the cardiovascular benefits of being on that medication, but also both of these medications are going to help with insulin sensitivity, one by anti-inflammatory effect, but, but also just the weight loss and terzepatite is directly going to act on skeletal muscle cells and fat cells to make them more sensitive to insulin. Brace yourself for some sticker shock. Bound may trim your waistline, but also may uh, trim your wallet. Here's what they don't tell you in the commercials. The average monthly cost of that bound can be anywhere from a thousand to a thirteen hundred. So that's twelve to fifteen thousand a year. That's a lot of money. And if you have insurance, you do have some help available, though not all insurance is cover that bound or even weight loss medications but those that do they may have a high copay but not a thousand dollars at least there's that and then insurance providers will also often ask for what's called step therapy meaning they want you to have felt something else before they will okay turns up a tie or is that bound but that means certainly diet or exercise are important but we'll go into how to make the medication more effective shortly but besides that they are generally going to want you to have felt one if not two medications, whether they're gonna to want to see you felt termine or Wagobi or Contra, they're gonna to want to see you fill out something before they would approve this. And the prior authorization process certainly can be a headache for patients and 
providers as well. Now, what if I tell you there is a way to supercharge your results with that bound or at least get better results? Well, I'm gonna get right into that. Medication is not a magic bullet in that you take it and you're just gonna magically lose weight. Science is still involved and we still have to have a calorie deficit. The diet is going to be important. You generally are gonna want to avoid foods that are processed and eat mostly whole foods. And that's something you need to work on and figure out what whole foods you like and work for you. This will really help with the weight loss, but also help maintaining the weight. Exercise is also important, and it's not that we necessarily need to do traditional things like go to the gym or be on a treadmill or jogging. Activity in general is going to be the role, whether that be walking, hiking, swimming, horse riding, any of those things are considered activity and will help with the weight loss, but also help maintain once you have hit your goal. This one simple trick has been around for a very long time, even though it necessarily didn't have a name, and that is time-restricted eating or intermittent fasting. This can really help with weight loss is this going to help decrease your calories? There are several benefits, including energy, improves uh, insulin sensitivity, again, that's important, and also digestion. Now, a simple way to get started is start with a 12-hour fast. And generally, we're gonna wanna work up to 16, 18 hour fast. In fact, we have a video below on how to do intermittent fasting with uh, weight loss medication if you wanna check that out. And for women, it might be a little bit different. Women are going to want to really listen to their bodies in response to intermittent fasting. They may do better with a shorter fasting window or they may do better with not necessarily fasting every day for the whole month. And if you want more details about intermittent fasting women, comment below. You just got the inside scoop on ZetBound, but the million dollar question is, is it right for you? Maybe. 85% of people did respond to it according to the studies. We do see a lot of people do well that medication in our clinic. So talk to your provider if you need help or you think you might be interested in this medication or you can contact us. Otherwise, if you need some help with diet and lifestyle, check out the link below on our free mini course on how to lose weight without starving. Well, if you found this helpful, please subscribe so you can get more videos like this. Otherwise, check out one of these videos on weight loss.